Cuba is changing its leadership now because Raul Castro announced in 2011 that he would only have two terms in office as president. He was elected president in 2008, 2013, and his time is up, and he's keeping his promise to step down. This is the first time that Cuba, in the last 50 years, will have a president who is not a Castro. It's also the first time that in the last 60 years that the head of the Communist Party is not the same person as the president of the country. So that Raul Castro will continue to be the head of the Communist Party, but a new person, Miguel Diaz-Canal, will be the president of the country. Miguel Diaz-Canal, who is taking Raul Castro's place, is the first vice president of Cuba. He will turn 58 the day after he becomes president. And what we know about him is that he grew up in the Cuban Revolution. He was born after it occurred. Uh, he has absorbed the values. He is a person who uh, rose up through the party. He had a, a short time in the military. He stayed longer than his required years, but he basically has worked in the party and then uh, he was the leader of the party in two provinces in Cuba, and then he became minister of higher education and then vice president. So he has been in the government and basically a government person. He is trusted and he is loyal to both the military and the party. Unfortunately, we don't know what will happen under the administration of Miguel Diaz-Canal. Uh, at one point, people thought, well, he's young. He, is a he has a popular quality to him. When he was the leader in, uh, in Santa Clara, he used to go out on the street and mingle with people, and he was very popular. But of late, he has given speeches that suggest he is very hardline, uh, antagonistic to the towards the United States, somewhat antagonistic to economic reforms. So we don't know what what to expect. Uh, I think it's probably likely there will be changes. The island is champing at the bit for changes, but he is also someone who has to uh, work with a variety of people who are not so certain that immediate change is in the best interests of Cuba. The most important factor at this point in U.S.-Cuban relations is Donald Trump. Miguel Diaz-Canal, I think, would con want to continue uh, President Castro's efforts to normalize diplomatic relations. But Donald Trump uh, has made it more difficult for the two countries to move forward. Uh, after the United States uh, and Cuba formally recognized each other once again diplomatically in 2015, there were efforts to negotiate a variety of things, including the licensing of a Cuban uh, vaccine against lung cancer. Uh, President Trump hasn't removed those possibilities. Uh, he's allowing the continuation of scheduled flights. Americans can still travel to Cuba uh, with uh, licensed providers, but he has sent a chill into the atmosphere with his harsh rhetoric and now reducing the embassy staff because of alleged attacks against them, uh, which turned out not to be attacks, but nonetheless, embassy personnel have been ill. And so it's less in the ball, the, the ball is less in the side of the court of Cuba than it is in the side of the United States. I think Miguel Diaz-Canel would like the United States and Cuba to have better relations simply to remove the threat to Cuba.